Yeah, this is this the gymnastics one? This is the gymnastics. Is. Okay. Is. Gymnastics. Got some nice eye candy for all the ladies. Oh wow. Is this <laughs> Okay. Is this one? Well. Is this, very uh, well. nicely animated too? Or? It is very well. Yeah, it was very well done. Like honestly, because like, this is another one where it has like those CGI it has like the CGI stuff with like when they're doing like their routine on like the the, the, the mat. Mm-hmm. But it's it's done well, but then they also just switch so well to like to actual animation. When they get to like close up to the shots, you, you can basically just see like it actually transitions really well. It's really mm-hmm. fluid. The the music it's it exactly reminds me of the first three seasons of High Q. Like the music was like during that routine was so good. Uh, I'll let you guys continue. Sorry, this is your show, Taylor. No, <laughs> yeah. Uh. You pretty much covered the things I, I would have wanted to say for this episode. I mean, All we right. got to meet we got to meet some of the characters. Basically, um, MC um, has a little bit of history with some multiple different sports, uh, but he happens across this gym gymnastics tournament for some reason, and just and watches this main team and um, really just thinks it's beautiful. And they end up um, ha- being kind of low for score because apparently you're supposed to have six people on a team and every person that you're missing you i think they mark you down a point and a half i, th- mm-hmm. I think yeah um and so they end up getting a pretty rough score but if they'd had six people they would have been like at the very top of the scoreboard or won that tournament so they're very very ta- talented at what they do so then he goes to that school and decides that he wants to join that team um along with kageyama or somebody yeah, I was just going to say, that guy <laughs> reminded me exactly of Kageyama from Haikyuu, and I was like, all right. But the, I'll, I'll, I'll probably enjoy this. Are you guys talking about like the guy who actually plays his voice, too? <laughs> okay. It's, it's yeah, the same voice actor. <laughs> oh, is it the same voice actor, too? I didn't even know that. I just literally saw the guy and like saw his more like you know bullish attitude, and I was like, oh, okay, we got the Kageyama of yeah, this yeah. show now. But he's much more chill, though, in this one, though, he seems like. Uh, he seems chill, yeah. He just seems <laughs> mellow. True. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much where, where it really kind of dropped off was just with the team um, doing some basic moves with the new recruits to kind of assess where they're at physically. And MC manages to pull off a backflip within the first episode. So we've got the name and the, the title yep. there. <laughs> the, yeah. okay, the only little thing I have about that is because like this guy kind of just jumped into gymnastics and like obviously they're kind of going to the, the part where he just has like the like almost like the ability of, like the body for it but then it's like or like a backflip like i feel like there were so many times where like i like back in my day where you try to backflip and you couldn't like could never do it and that was like forever i don't know if it was just like the like the mental like uh, like almost like that mental block where it's just like yeah i'm gonna fail this uh, but it, uh, like it happened like really fast where it seems like this guy's really getting it it almost it also feels like it's almost out of nowhere because this guy hasn't done anything with the gymnastics before and he's with everybody who's I'm assuming has done gymnastics so, yeah. uh, in my life. And this I guy mean, comes guess, from softball background. Yeah. Or bad, baseball, baseball background. Baseball. Well, that's the thing that I guess you could, you know, align to it. Like he's, you know, obviously been involved in, in school sports and things for, for a good while of how we're introduced to him. So it is, yeah. I agree, a little bit of a stretch, but if they want to just chop it up, it's like, hey, he's athletic. He's just, you know, now applying himself in this different avenue. Yeah, I'm, Besides, I'm, even just because he can just do a backflip, there's a lot more to it than that. There's a lot of artistry. I was gonna with say it. that's probably there's like square one like of you know <laughs> all the moves that they're gonna be pulling off and everything. So I'm actually I'm uh, I'm excited to actually watch like, a character do who actually grows in the sport and not like skate where Snow immediately was a god. Uh, I would I would um I would rather have like this like see like the actual MC struggle and mm, art instead of just becoming Agreed. a natural talent. Agreed. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that they're not going to go that route. I, I would feel like he's definitely going to be the one to hamper the, the group down. I'm I ass- do kind of personally like the fact... I want to see... I agree with you, certain because I want to see the MC have to learn. But I do like the fact that he's joining a team of people who are already fairly proficient. Because that's one thing I really liked about uh yuri on ice was the fact that it follows people who are already professional I, like I, figure skaters. You know what I mean? So... Sometimes I want to see people grow, and sometimes I just kind of want to see the struggles of people who are already in that field, who are great at what they do, yeah. and how they continue to like improve upon themselves um, in that at that level. So I'm kind of excited for that that yeah. we'll have both those aspects. The, Hopefully so. It, I mean, thing- it is a show again that's only twelve episodes, so yeah. it's finding that balance, right? Yeah. Of okay, you know, where are we get into of like 
personal progression versus team progression. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The one thing I, I definitely think it helps though is, uh, is is with coaching, and it seems like with when you have like uh, people who have basically done gymnastics their entire lives, that definitely helps with learning, like the learning curve. Like I, I think it will definitely help speed it up. Um, because when you have somebody that actually knows what they're doing and like can actually explain it, like no know, knows what they're talking about, can definitely help in the learn like the with learning and can help like actually speed up that curve. So yeah. I'm I'm thinking. That could be a part of it as well <laughs> with yeah. the, the backflip and whatever else he has. I to mean, do. at the end of the day, I just want to see more routines because I know with the routines, they're going to have, you know, banger soundtracks oh, to yeah. accompany them. So as long as the music- that was the biggest thing for me. I was originally not going to watch the show, gave episode one a shot, love the music, characters are not bad. And yeah. Now I'm, <laughs> now I'm in. I'm in. It'll be my guilty pleasure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Animation CGI too does everything really well. Yeah. So my husband for to... this show is the blonde guy with the red hair streak, by the way. That's my that's the one I'm looking uh, forward to seeing. But I'm hoping that okay. they all have good team dynamics. Like I hope we get to see some of that some of that um back and forth banter that I really love from Haikyuu. Yeah. I hope they'll have a little bit of that here. I'm interested to see the other teams as well. I know we got introduced, I think, mm-hmm. to like two members from a different team when he was first, you know, watching this group uh perform after his baseball game. So I'm interested to see the other kind of unique characters that we get from these other ry- rhythmic gymnastic teams. One of those guys was Kageyama, though, um, that joined the team. Oh, right. OK, yeah. so then it's the other one who like talked kind of in like nickname cutesy like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. style. So, OK, yeah. but nonetheless, I'm always excited to see how do you grow the ensemble of characters more because you want to have meaningful rivals or meaningful yeah. competitors that you fight yeah. against. Or that you dance against in this <laughs> regard. <laughs> give me a, give me one more week, and then I'll, I'll come up with my uh, my fa- my favorite character so far. So sounds good. Cool. Or best eye candy character, whichever. <laughs> you do you that, sir. Will do.